let's go to the first subsection topic of mathematics in our world, which is patterns and numbers in nature. Pattern. So, si pattern is regular, repeated, or recurring forms or designs. And so, nang recurring, ma'am, meaning Anna is repeated also. Patterns in nature are visible regularities of form found in natural worlds. So, what are the examples found in nature? One example of that is animals. So what animals that has patterns? So we have zebras, tigers, cats, snakes, which are covered with patterns of stripes. We also have natural patterns like waves across the oceans, formation of typhoon. Di ba kanin ko makita ang marag na siya pattern yung makita ang typhoon. So we have here types of patterns. The first one of that is symmetry. Kadungog na ba mo on sa symmetry? Yes! Kadungog na dapat mo, Ana. Hindi ka na sa ako karun, ha? So we have the word symmetry. Symmetry comes from a Greek word meaning to measure together and is widely used in the study of geometry. In short, Symmetry is a sense of harmonious and beautiful proportion. Ang word ana is proportion of balance, meaning that one shape becomes exactly like another when you move it in some way, like turn, flip, or slide. So, nai isa ka symmetry, which is bilateral symmetry. Unsa na siya, ma'am? It is a symmetry in which the left and the right sides of the organisms can be divided into mirror image of each other along the midline. So symmetry exists in living things such as animals, plants, and flowers. Now, I have a question. Are humans symmetrical? Okay, suppose I draw an imaginary line down through my nose perpendicular to the ground. Okay, so imagine na lang nga na ay imaginary line niya sa ako ang tunga. Okay, on the other side, on the other side, you had one eye. On the other side, you have one arm and one leg on each side, di ba? So, you'd be symmetrical. But, you wouldn't be entirely the same. Why? Why man, ma'am? Because, you have only one heart on the left side. And, you only have one liver and one appendix on the right. Okay? So, let us go to the second type of pattern which is fractals. And say fractals. So it is a never-ending pattern, meaning walang katapusan. Dili awat sa inyo manag uyab ng anay kahumanan. So can you see fractals? This can be found in nature also. So the pattern repeats itself over and over again at different scales, like a tree. A tree grows by repetitive branching, de ba? So this same kind of branching can be seen also in lightning bolt and veins in your body. So let us go to the third type of pattern, which is spiral. So it is a curve patterns that focuses on a center point 
and a series of circular shapes that revolve around it. So example of that is pine cone and um, hurricane. And lastly, the type of pattern is tessellation. Kadawag da ba mo na tessellation a word? These are patterns that are formed by repeated cubes or tiles with no overlaps and no gaps. That ends for our first lesson, which is patterns and numbers in nature. Thank you.